Good afternoon, sixth graders. We're back with another Tips for Tuesday strategy. Last week, we did our Watch Your Bubble strategy, remembering to fill in the bubble as clear as possible and as complete as possible. This week, we're focusing on using your context clues. This week, you want to write your title on the right side of the flap. Use your context clues. Next, cut out your sheet as tight as possible. This is a close one. Cut between the use context clues and the read the text surrounding the unknown words for clues. All the way to the bottom of the passage and then directly under the question and answers. Once you have gotten your paper glued into your flap, we can begin the process. The process of answering any EOG question begins with reading the EOG questions. First, we will read our question. It says, in line 15, to what does her world most likely refer? A, the forest, B, the paddock, C, the fence, or D, the other deer? Okay, so we know we're looking for a vocabulary word or words, and we know that we have a specific line in which to look in the poem. Next, we'll read the poem. The deer appeared in the lower paddock, fourteen in all, a herd, white tails held high against the melting snow. Even the crows are silent, for a moment. My daughter and I inch forward, unbreathing, but still they start and bound smartly over our fence and our neighbors, effortlessly flying through the air, one after the other. The smallest seemed lost for a moment, unsure of herself, wandering back and forth along the fence as her world leapt away. She disappeared behind a tree and flew to join the others. Our horses whinnied and returned to their hay. So we go back to our question. In line 15, to what does her world most likely refer? Let's go to line 15. And highlight. As her world leapt away. Now, would it be A, the forest, the forest leaping away as she's wandering back and forth along the fence? The forest is not mentioned in this part of the text. What about the, B, the paddock? The paddock was mentioned in the first line of the poem. The deer appeared in the lower paddock, which is a field. So we know that B is not the answer. What about letter C, the fence? The fence is mentioned in the line above, wandering back and forth along the fence as her world leapt away. That does not make any sense. So the fence is not the answer. Or D, the other deer. Would she be wandering back and forth along the fence while the other deer leapt away, her world? Which makes the most sense, the forest leaping away or the other deer leaping away? The other deer. Very good. And that is how you use context clues and process of elimination. Good job. That's another time of Tips for Tuesday.